There were maybe five games for 2023 that I would say I've been really looking forward to. Final Fantasy 16, obviously. Diablo 4, which I got to play 200-ish hours of in the Endgame beta last year, so I knew I was going to enjoy. Final Fantasy 16, I've been avoiding all media for. Remnant from the Ashes, or Remnant 2. I don't know whether it's got a uh, subtitle, but Remnant 2. Really looking forward to, because I played the first one, and unless they stray too far from the formula, I'm fairly certain I'm going to enjoy the second one. But then two games that I really hope, or hoped, were going to be good. And those two games are The Last Case of Benedict Fox, which has come out and I've played, and yeah, it was all right, but I was hoping for better. And Lies of P, which has released a demo today, about however many minutes ago it was. Uh, it's the Summer Games Fest today. It's going on, uh, it's, I think it's just finished. So... I am going to, to get to see whether this actually plays as well as I hope it does. Aesthetically, it's 100% my thing. Um, but there's a difference between aesthetics and actual gameplay. So let's take a... Uh, yeah, th this is a, a big enough thing for me to pull out the camera. So you know I'm, I'm interested in this one and i'm interested in capturing my reaction to it we seem to have a fairly significant suite of options recommended for, for beginners um, i might turn that off if needs be uh switch to water lock on yeah we'll keep for now, again, that's the kind of thing that I will either turn on or off, depending on how it works in game. Camera off uh, options. It's just inclined surface camera. Uh, visibility becomes more natural when moving through an inclined area. I mess with the camera all the time anyway. Camera shake off. Because I don't like it. Audio options. Uh... Right, we want voice for... Interesting that they all start as seven. So you can actually just push voice up from the start. Also, what's the difference between system volume and general volume? Could do with a, a little bit of a... Little bit of explanation. Border screen mode, unlimited frame rates. Uh, V-Sync on. Uh, ooh, it's got DLSS options. Let's put DLSS on, because I, you know, I've got a 3090. Uh, yeah, best. <laughs> Control up, not going to look at those. Uh, I never look at the controls unless they are... Closed game is in that menu. That's really weird. Um, we've got a nice kind of minimalistic but thematic splash screen. Obviously, we've got the clockwork heart of Pinocchio here. Let's, let's, let's play. Oh, we've, we've also got... Controller rumble, which keep in mind I'm using a, a DualSense controller. Now lying, we did have some shader pre-compilation stuff as the demo was loading up. In honor of the great writer Carlo Collodi, who wrote Pinocchio, I believe. Can you hear me? I can. Just check the monitors on OBS to make sure that this sounds right. Maybe a little bit quiet. Starting off in a clinic? Please, please control well. Please control well. Camera movement is smooth a little bit a little bit too sensitive for my liking
better. Yep, yeah, that'll do me. Right, move, rotate camera. We've got heal on plus. We've got something. Uh, that I assume these are all going to be explained. Click in the right stick for. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Looks so good. But looking at something in a very static environment with a light is not the same as, you know, looking at it in combat. Um, I've got no frame rate counter, and also I'm in the way here. You can tell I don't normally do this uh, in a live situation. I normally just leave myself where I am. Uh, I'm now a really, really small, really small Demogen. I think I've actually destroyed my frame rate as well. Technical issues. One second. Oh, there we go. They've, uh, they seem to have fixed themselves. Um, yeah. Cushing this down to a teeny tiny thing in the corner when it's a 4K webcam is actually not the smartest move. Investigate. Yeah, I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Okay. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. It's interesting that they've got uh, Jiminy, Jiminy Cricket uh, spelt like Gemini. As in the twins from astrology. Everything seems to uh, open the door. Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. I assume this is the start of the game. I assume this is you know where it actually begins. That was left trigger. <gasps> A sword. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. Choose a trick weapon. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Path of the Cricket, balance. Quality build. Path of the Bastard, dexterity build. Path of the Sweeper, strength. And we can see the stats. Stats, uh, so our opening choice affects our general starting stats. So we've got a balanced combat star, combat star with power and speed. Quick and nimble for striking the enemy's weak spots, or heavy that cuts down enemies using great physical strength. But low vigor. So vitality, I'm assuming, is health. Vigor is probably stamina related. Capacity and motivity could be anything. There's no actual strength stat. I'm going to go with balance to start off with. Path of the Crickets. So guard. Dodge. Extra bag. Oh, I see. So if you hold down the A button, it brings up a little extra cross menu, which you can use. Um, interesting that that is on A. Not sure how I feel about that. Uh, I want to look at the stats. Uh, ah, there's no health menu here. At least not yet. I, I, I'd quite like to know what these stats mean. Uh, do we have... Check ground emotes. A white shirt. Some bits and pieces which one assumes will get explained as we go. One would hope. Nothing to show, nothing to show. Pulse cell. So that's our Estus flask. Maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. Cell will be discharged. Recharges on damage. Yes. So like the Surge 2, does it? Which I like. Equipment change, usable items, 
Costume. There's an accessories menu. Can't take off his default outfit. Okay. Let's uh let's let's get out there. That camera's actually still a little bit too fast. It felt better in the closed confines, but maybe that was because it was in the closed confines. Oh, that's too slow. <laughs> I always overcompensate. That's better. I am not one of these people that needs to have a super speedy camera sweep. Um... If it's too fast, I get confused. Also, was there a motion blur option? Did I see anything about motion blur? No, interesting. Nothing to do with motion blur. Okay. All right. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah, that's got the proper kind of weight to it that I would like. I'm already quite excited. A sawtooth wheel. I like the uh, the kind of distortion on that. We just picked up a thing. A sawtoothed wheel. Throwing objects. Motivity and technique. Motivity, strength, technique, skill. Everything became useful in battle in the paralyzed city. Different sound effects for hitting different surfaces. It's a tiny touch, but one I appreciate. Areas blocked off. There's no map because it's a Souls game. Well, I mean, I say there's no map. There's no map currently. A shiny thing! Use a pulse cell to recover HP. Maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cells will be gradually charged. So... It is an Estus flask with charges. So you can use it, say, three times before it becomes discharged. And then you have to keep on attacking to build charges back up. I think that's what that's saying. I like that as a system, in theory. In practice, who knows? Or do we have a parry move? If we do... There's a guy there. I didn't see him. Yeah, combat's got the, just the right kind of weight on it. Left trigger, use legion arm. We'll try that. Flat. Legion arm has a bar. It's just here. I don't know whether it regenerates over time or what. Dim Ergo Fragment is a consumable soul. I know that from previous gameplay demos that I've watched. Uh, little bit of a delay. You have to wait for that animation to play out before you can move again. Or the, the rebound animation. I suspect that might mess me up at some points. We can move whilst blocking. Not a door that we can go through. This looks like it's... You need Kratz Central Station main entrance key. I'm going to sneeze, excuse me. Uh. <laughs> Alright. I think the frame rate's running pretty well.
Uh, how do I do that? Oh, hello. No one's dead. This feels good. Haha, <laughs> you could back away. Nice. Falling over that. Uh, right. Aha! Aha! Okay, so down on the D-pad rotates through the second set of items that we've got equipped. Uh, so we've got a saw blade thing. What is that actually? A knife sharpener? Grinder. What is it? Uh, repairs weapon durability. Uh, weapon durability decreases each time you attack enemies with a weapon. Use the grinder to repair it. When durability is low, attack decreases. When durability falls to zero, the weapon will be destroyed and cannot be repaired with a grinder. Thus, it is advised to keep an eye on the durability gauge. Interesting. To those in battle, the grinder is their lifeline. The sharpness of their blade can mean life or death. So it is literally a, a, a knife sharpener. Uh, immediate character death upon use. So that's our dark sign, essentially. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if we press up... Yeah, I assume if we press up, that will change once we've got other things to equip. Uh, let's check down here. Is... Yeah, we can hold circle for... for run. Although, to be fair, our movement speed is pretty good already. Clunk. Yeah, attack speed seems pretty decent. Thermites. Use belt. Activate the upper belt slot. Activate the lower belt slot. Use the selected belt item. Hold down to activate the extra bag. Okay. Question then. We are going to have to look at the controls now. What's Y used for? Ah, why is used for Fable Arts, which is why it's not got anything attached to it in that way just yet. Uh, that's what is what is thermite? A thermite bomb. Okay, so we can do that by holding down and pressing up. Actually, in that case. If we put the lantern on the extra bag and the grinder on there, because these are things that we're going to want to use, but not necessarily going to want to use in combat. Whereas these are. Makes sense to me. Might, might make sense to you as well. The, uh, the game seems to be running very well indeed. I, I don't think it's dropping any frames. It's, it doesn't seem to be causing many issues, so... Question. <laughs> I was going to say, do we have... Backstabs? We do! And they're quite dramatic. Oh, look, we're all covered in oil. That's lovely. Not getting through there. Oh, can't get over there. Uh, we do have a, a, a jump. Jump is dash and click in the left stick. So the classic controls get the most loyal servants. To all parts of the world. Yeah, so top left hand corner we've got our health bar, our stamina bar, and I believe the blue is our fable gauge that we can use to 
do stuff with. Passengers' notes. Anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Definitely make sure to keep clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. I locked the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you even if it's not much. Please survive. Anyone? Nothing hidden behind there. So, somewhere around here, there was a giant puppet. Lady Domitresque, is that you? Right, how close do we need to be in order... Cause... Oh, we... I just glanced at the health bar. And it looked like when we blocked... It took a chunk off, but we earned it back. So does it have a rally system like in Bloodborne? Chamber of Mac in a workshop. Ergo is live. Should probably check the ceilings as well, shouldn't I? Dim Ergo fragments. Cancelled? Blue Fairy. The world building so far is interesting enough. I hear you. Oh. Oh. Lock device. There are doors and ladders all throughout Cracked that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors or go down the ladders to create shortcuts. Yeah, so that that's what this is. Again, we've seen this in a in a gameplay demo. Clonk. And this opens a shortcut back up to near the start of the level. Uh oh. It wasn't me, officer. Oh. Giving uh, considerable Father Gascoigne vibes here. Humans all over the shop. Alright, what kind of range have you got? Oh, okay. Double attack. Oh. Wee. <laughs> okay. So I I did that too fast. So something about an enemy becoming groggy, was it? And then right trigger to to do the finishing blow thing. Of the sawtooth wheel. Right, we picked up a fable catalyst made to supplement puppet abilities, rapidly charges fable. So this is like um, an Ashen Esther's flask, essentially. Possibly a one shot thing, yeah. Looks like a consumable. So we can't use it constantly. Where are we actually going? What is he guarding, if anything? Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Ah! I oh, know, that's the shortcut that we've opened. Doesn't look. Hello, I'd like a ticket. No? No, no tickets for me. 
So I guess he was just our introduction to larger enemy types. Yeah, that's that's the other side of the door that we uh, we came through. All right, this is back to where we were. Oh, did we get the key? We got the key. That's what we got from him. So now we can get through this door. Ugh. Hey, look, it's a not bonfire. Welcome to Kratz. I assume the little thing in the top right hand corner is the save symbol. Kratz Central Station Plaza. Rainy nights. Ah, I looked straight at that as it flashed. The Stargazer, that's what these are called. These are our bonfires. And we shall use it. Use the Stargazer to fully recover HP and stamina. And charge your pulse cells. Also revise enemies. Let's use it. This is called a Stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But we shall soon become a master of puppets. I my power to this stargazer for a moment. Gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. Doesn't last forever. Hmm. Level up. Okay. So. Vitality is HP and guard regain. So that rally style mechanic is specifically for guarding by the look of it. So you can pa you can block as much as you need to, but you will lose health in a way, but you can get it back. Vigor is stamina. I think capacity is our main strength oh no no capacity is our defense motivity is our attack technique is our yeah so hp stamina defense Strength. Dex. I'm assuming some kind of luck stats. We'll go with that for now. So a few more HP and a little bit of motivity. Oh, what does the storage stuff look like? It looks like a storage menu. Well, he doesn't need flogging. Had to pun on flogging it now. If you ha oh, hello dogs. Ah, parry move. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> no, run away. Oh shit. <laughs> Lie or die. <laughs> 
Well, uh, yes, I wasn't actually expecting to uh, <laughs> to be assailed by quite that many folks. Um, interesting load time there. I hope that will be uh, shortened a bit. When a counter dies, death ergo is dropped on the spot. If any damage damage will kill you again before you retrieve it, the amount you can recover decreases, yes. Oh, the amount you can recover decreases as opposed to not uh, as opposed to vanishes. Okay. You guys are stuck. No, you're not. Like that. Better. Better. Right. Let's try this perfect parry. That has less range than I was expecting. I assume that spark was the parry. Use a belt item. Oh, you have to hold that down. So the durability gauge is the, the white one in the bottom right-hand corner. Left bumper plus Y. I've buffed myself? I've buffed myself. Crat Times, issue 183. The Crat Grand Exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralysed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Venigny, Venigny company, Kratz's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. A task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, there was no quick solution as of now, with the puppet frenzy creating more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Grat Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. Something about the grammar in all that feels a little bit mixed. So we've we, we've got a buff which I believe uses our blue fable bar. I think that's what that is. Oh, hello. All right, let's try this parry. Okay, let, what does it look like normally? Yeah. So that's a normal guard. And that's a parry? I'm not sure. Not sure. Can we break these? We can. So there are some crates and things that are breakable. There's a person right there. Well, I say person. I hear a dog. Not going to try and parry the dogs. Because it's a dog in a Souls game. And if they have got dogs right, then dogs should not be parryable. So it looks like the wooden bits, uh, the wooden crates and stuff that we can destroy, yeah, are uh, kind of more dull brown. Oops. Uh, right, it's two men's. The, the crunchiness as you, uh, you hit things is very nice indeed. So those are destructible. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. These are uh, souls fragments, aren't they? Consumable souls. I think we've cleared out the, uh, the plaza. 
I see you there. Guard right before getting hit. Yeah, the, the quality of animation and the feedback that you get from that is nicely done. Right, we can destroy things by rolling through them. This is good. Uh, this looks like a shortcut back. This is... He's very pretty, isn't he? Oh, and his shirt! Goes slightly translucent when it gets wet. I can already see the fan artists. Oh, hello. Right, there is an indicator an indicator when you are close enough hey you down there ah can you get up to me you can there's some steps over here that's a perfect parry so it gives a really kind of clunky sound there's a thing over here that i'd missed Fable Catalyst. I am not one to... to judge a game as a whole based on a demo. Demos are things that give you some insight into what a game is going to be like. I'm enjoying this. It's got the right kind of pace to it and feel to it. He's going to turn around before I get close enough to backstab him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just that kind of crunch for the killing blow. We're getting a lot of consumables. I've voiced my... general thoughts and opinions on souls games that rely too heavily on consumables in my runs of sekiro and neo and what i played of wolong i don't like uh games that rely too heavily on them but i like that they are an option for people that do want to use them especially for challenge runs and stuff the true test of a Souls game is, is it going to have enough variety of options to satisfy those people that, you know, get halfway through a game and immediately want to start it up with particular challenge limitations in mind, like, you know, a no-hit run or a speed run or a fist-only run or whatever. I'm not these people. I watch these people on occasion. Constant rain is uh, is interesting for a city that is overrun with machines. Another, more consumable souls. This reminds me. Uh, hmm. Geometry on those cliffs is a little bit basic. But again, I don't think you're really supposed to be taking a close look. It's more like uh, sweep your eyes across as you are looking out for enemies. Huh, how do I get to you? Nice fire. I assume the fire illuminates us. It does. Shows off how glistening we are. Use blade fable arts while guarding. Use handle fable arts. Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own fable arts. They use up fable slots and different fable arts use a different number of slots. Charge them by attacking enemies with weapons. Yes, I, I love it when a game rewards you for... Ow. Oops. 
Okay, so I tried to dodge them. Didn't work. <laughs> didn't work because I timed it wrong, not because it, it didn't work. I saw the animation start. Um, yes, okay. Weapon durability can be repaired through a grinder. Attack power decreases when weapon durability. That's an interesting mechanic because we're, we're going to keep need to do that quite a lot. To view the me guide again, menu settings guide. Oh shit! Hello! Yeah, you, you can't do the whole Sekiro deflect thing. Um... That didn't work. Mechanical doggy sounds! don't actually know which way it was that we went. I feel like we might be able to get perfect parries on those, though. Huh. The, uh, the indicator... The uh, the indicator for backstabbing. That's the word that I'm after. Um, you have to be really close for it. Uh, I assume top right hand corner, the the number in the little box is what we've lost. But can be regained. <laughs> Shit. I forgot about the guy. Well, no, I didn't forget about the guy. Didn't expect him to be rushing down to meet me, did I? Yeah, if they can just improve this loading speed, um, it's a little bit on the slower side, keeping in mind that I'm actually running the game on an NVMe. Okay, throwing objects. Right. Yes, I, I'm trying too hard to, uh, to parry. Right, let's kill this guy first. Okay, so the, the little crit symbol... Ah, it was this guy. No, I'd actually forgotten about this guy entirely. Yeah, so you have to press into them, I think, in order to get that. Not sure. Right. Yeah, so we, we lose our previous... How perceptive are you? Not very. Oh, okay. So we've got dodge attacks. Which I didn't expect. So it, the, the repositioning of it actually messed me up there. But that's fine. Now I know that they're a thing. Oh, hello. I'm really tempted now to try the... Uh, the two-hander. The power sword. Okay. We're back here. What was it that killed us? Oh, yeah. There was a guy. 
This guy, in fact. his leg the enemy is about to be groggy how can i tell that is it uh, an animation thing that i have to pay attention to don't know I was going to say what's the point of this little nub i was expecting to be ambushed about there but it's actually a vantage point the the way the lightning illuminates the screen is uh it's it's a lot they're definitely uh selling the atmosphere here i know a lot of people have been saying myself included that you know this is like uh, a successor to to bloodborne and I, I i'm still kind of seeing that um it's it's a very different kind of gothic situation oh you get two that's gonna be uh something that you have to get used to how many attacks an enemy has more thermite I haven't chucked one of these yet oh hello that guy's got no head oh one spam It doesn't look like. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, R1 and L. Uh, no, R1 and R2 have got particularly different attacks. Oh, good. But they do come out differently if you put them into a combo. Dog. <laughs> it was worth a try. No backstab actions on the dogs. I was going to say, I feel like there's got to be a shortcut somewhere. Actually, no, I don't think this is a shortcut. I think this is the... Venigny's Urgent Repair Tool. Instantly repairs weapon durability. Okay. So, not only can we grind our... Weapon durability back up. Don't know how often we can use that. Do we just keep it for the whole game? Or will it eventually run out of grinding juice? Yeah. That was too early. But as long as you don't take your finger off the button, I think you're okay. I think it's on button press that it does the deflect. That will require testing. Good. 
We've got some slight ragdolling as well, which is always good to see. That is music, isn't it? Just kind of distant. Right. So we've been through there. Yes, we did that. Hopefully this is nice and smooth on the recorder. It's playing great for me. Um, but again, I have a G-Sync monitor. And I can't always tell, especially if I'm concentrating, whether it's actually recording at a nice kind of smooth rate. Aha! And open! Right, and this takes us back to the plaza. So we just take the right hand wall. Yeah, R2 does give you different attacks as part of the... Dog on a carriage? Dog in the dirt? Oh, your attack was faster than I was expecting. I'm, I'm heading back to the, uh, the bonfire. In case you're wondering why I'm heading back through here some uh some level up potential right i do not feel like i'm running out of stamina you get six stamina for that um let's check actually what does our weapon scale off it's a quality weapon so motivity and technique so it's going to work on both of them Uh, I'm hoping that we get a second weapon. To Ooh, defensive parts. So these are like our armor pieces because he's not going to have any kind of actual armor to wear. So we can go for strength or dex. Um, 100 plus 15. Uh, oh, we've actually got enough for another. Uh, I don't think advance is just going to be tied. Also, what is legion? I don't know. For now, for now we we stick with strength and dex. Right, what is our opportunity for? This is the wrong way. It's this way. <laughs> I'm uh, intrigued as to how far enemies chase. Oh, shit. <laughs> A reasonable amount. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, so, so not forever. Oh, maybe forever. <laughs> shit. Oh, dear Lord, they all come. Oh, man, that serves me right. That serves me right. Uh, right, that said something about a boss, didn't it? We've got a boss coming up.
Can we cut these down? Ah, oh, disappointingly, cannot. Hello? Oh, a training dummy to practice perfect guard. Okay. Merchant? Hello there. Welcome to Karat, visitor. Why do you have a bandaged face? I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. It me! You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Amateur and wannabe. Demogen. Out here alone? You could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. Okay. Fable Catalyst. Throwing cell. A large output battery that can be thrown. So it's an electricity grenade. Electric blitz abrasive. Temporary, tempor tempor blah, 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 blah. Temporarily imbues a weapon with electric blitz. So that is a... It's a consumable. Ooh. Puppet Saber. Great Sword of Fate. And Rapier. We'll have that as well. Ooh. Oh. Different categories. Equipment. Okay, so we've got thrust, swipe, thrusts. So it looks like we've got thrust, swipe, charge, attack. Mhm. Mm Running R two. Running R one. Do we have evasive? Yeah, I think we do. I'm not 100% sure. Bear that. Oxes! That's really creepy music. Introducing the parade puppet. Here appears a terrific puppet who will enliven the parade. So is... Hello there, I'm the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. The Parade Master has the following functions. 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter and 54 parade phrases. Parade dances to delight children. The strength to carry six men on his shoulder. This Parade Master was made big in commemoration of the Grand Exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. Uh-huh. Well, it's gone nuts, hasn't it? So. Also. I was kind of expecting a stargazer there, if I'm honest. Uh oh. Well, that was just unnecessary, wasn't it? Boss fight time. And probably end of demo, I would imagine. Oh, good. Whoa! It's a monkey! Parade Master! Oh, he's got some range with that. Uh-huh. Oh, 
you got grab. I need to watch my stamina more carefully. Damn it. That's a good opportunity for... Uh... Ow. Oh. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! <laughs> I thought that was going a little bit too well. Break immediately decreases your character's HP through pulse cells. Huh? Okay. If you die in a boss battle, Death Ergo is created at the entrance to the boss arena. Wonderful! So we don't need to uh, actually go in. Uh, it's straight through here, isn't it? Yeah. Straight down the middle and right. It's a bit of a run back. Oh, hello. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Turn around and there's an enemy about to hit you with a candlestick. Actually, I suppose it's not that far of a run back. But still, I would have thought there'd be a checkpoint around here. Maybe this is considered close enough. Yeah, so there's our stuff. Right, Fog Gate is... Interesting. So it's oily from range. Huh. Okay, that takes off a good chunk of stamina. Oh, damn. Okay, that's got some range on it. <sighs> oh, damn it. It's not just a case of dodge backwards there. Uh. Yeah, he's got a fair chunk of range with that. Ow. Ah, three hits. And back. Ah. 
Right, we're recharging our pulse cell on the side. I can't see that. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, that's got a sweep. Okay. That's got more range than I think. Oh, and that's... I think I got caught on his leg. Um, <laughs> again. Okay. Get into grips with it. I feel like I'm preferring the the speed of the the shorter sword for now. I just feel like a, a little bit of a run back. I do like the, the kind of general aesthetic, though, of this big-ass sword. It feels like enemies chase you from a distance. I assume they will have a leashing range at some points. But where? Who knows? Right. Come on then, Parade Master. Too slow. I think I got him going groggy then. No, you, you can't just time that and back out. Screw that up. No. Back away, heal. <sighs> ah, crap. Ah, jeez. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I got stuck in a corner then. That was entirely my own fault. Okay, progress was made. Yeah, I feel like I may have staggered him. Um, I'm not entirely sure what Fury Attack. Some enemies become red and use a strong attack. Can't dodge or guard, but you can counter with a perfect guard. So that's risk-reward, isn't it?
Damn it, I thought I killed him. <laughs> so you can perfect guard the giant red attacks. Well, I mean, now you know I'm going to have to try that. And I love perfect guarding in games. It's one of my favourite mechanics, so... Am I any good at it? Nope. The only game I've ever been good at perfect guarding and deflecting in is Darksiders 1. And that's only because it was so easy and the window of opportunity for it was massive. Oh, and I suppose Darksiders Genesis as well, but same character. Right. Okay, so you can... Oh, nice! That uses up a lot of stamina, though. Gotcha. <laughs> Fuck that up entirely. <laughs> Good work, Emma. Oh, screw that up. Okay, so I've got to be better than that. Oh, shit. Oh, I screwed my weapon up. Interesting. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Tell you what, let's heal. Ah. Oh, why did I do that? I need to stop standing in place when he's got his mace down because he's just going to go blah, blah, blah. That was really descriptive. Well done, Demogen. <laughs> Screwed my weapon up then, though. I'm wondering... So, you do lose stamina when you are running, regardless of whether you are in combat or not. Which is a bit of a shame. I like how Elden Ring does it. The enemy has ran off. <laughs> I was just checking that they had a leashing range. Okay, Parade Master. Ooh. 
Shit! Gotta repair your weapon in mid combat, which is an interesting one. Don't stand there. I don't want to get backed into a corner here because the camera is... Okay, two swings on that. Okay, and I'm in a corner again. This is a surprisingly tight arena, considering. <sighs> oh dear. stamina broke me it was my own fault i need to get better at the the perfect timings for it hmm i'm liking this i'm liking the challenge there is nothing that has felt unfair everything feels like i just cocked up frankly And that is how it should be. It's not always how it is, but it's how it should be. I'm assuming that my Fable attacks will have an impact on how this stuff works. And also, my left arm of steel. In fact, can we read what the left arm of steel does? Cannot be changed here. So it's an attack. It's a strength attack. Ah, that's got the advanced stat on it, which implies that there are going to be... Um, arms that don't have that, are, that have got kind of magic-y Fable Arts Link Slash perfectly block the enemy's attack temporarily hmm hmm seems to be at least a little bit of depth the fact that each of the weapons has two halves and you can change the halves of that for, for different things is clearly kind of trick weapony style inspired yeah you, know, you can customize them that way i see Feels like it makes more sense to block that. Oh, damn it. Oh, 
Oh shit. That's going to be an issue. I managed to swap to the other of the two options and I was hitting my heal button and it wasn't working because it got the wrong thing selected. That is... It's a me issue, but it's an issue with how heals versus consumables are, are bound. And it's not like it's super unclear which of the two is selected. I like the fact that we can get our... Our anima? No, our ergo, isn't it? Back outside the room, because that means that, you know, the two or three enemies that we kill on the way there will stack up until we eventually have got enough that we can go back and get a level if we need be. It's, it's not a lot, but it's it's something. You know, you can say, ah, yeah, I'm going to try again. I'm trying to do something else. So our left bumper plus Y, our fable art for this guy is a perfect block. Wait, why is he going? Oh, that's his stagger. So when the health bar flashes white, that's their stagger. That's cool. I like that. I'm glad that there's a... Uh Oh, I've unequipped my other weapon, haven't I? Shit! <laughs> oh, he gets up a lot faster as well. really satisfying that was really satisfying that was a good fight i enjoyed that uh, a great deal interesting i was expecting to see a splash screen at the end of that so what did i learn um i learned first of all that actually having two weapons equipped is probably a good job uh on the off chance that you break your weapon in the middle of a fight um So maybe during the phase transition, that's a good time to to change that. Um, which way did we come in? I assume we're going to get an end of demo thing through here. Right, this was how we came in. Yeah. And it, don't get me wrong, it would be cool if there was more. I'm really disappointed that we can't break these. 
It's a tiny thing. The Fable Catalyst. Didn't use those at all during the fight. They would, again, probably be very good for turning the tide. The, um... The, the perfect block part of the Great Swords moveset was an interesting one. Probably really good for smashy attacks. Notice. The greatest luxury you will ever experience. Give yourself the treat of an unforgettable day. Yeah, I, I'm now just ex I should mention. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. So is it going to show us enough of the game to show us actually how the truth and lies mechanics works? That is a really cool. The lightning's really nicely animated as well. Our jump height isn't very high, so we're not going to be hopping up on bits and pieces. Is our health? No, it's not. I was wondering whether it was slowly recharging over time, but it isn't. There probably is something that you can find in-game that will do that. Hidden Moonstone. The Moonstone was not from this world. However, it was the most optimal in... Ah, ha, ha! Crafting material. Workshop uses this gem to bring out puppets' different abilities. Upgrades no water. So that's our Titanite shard slash bloodstone shard. Can upgrade the blades of common weapons. In their urgency, technicians pushed forward with using the Moonstone for weapon upgrade without time to review it further. Also, I notice that it says slightly heavy. I assume that changes our dodge and stuff. In fact, we could test that, can't we? So we're not slightly heavy anymore. Doesn't feel like it changes much. But maybe that's because it's only slightly heavy. Knock on the door. Hi. I am a human. Your springs are reacting? Demo end. Yes. Or alternatively, Splash screen, but probably demo end. Or not? Is this Sophia? Is it Sophia or Sophie? 
Ooh, shadows. I'm so happy to see you. I am Sophia. Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Croft to find you. Nice coat. Can I have it? I have questions. Geppetto will oh. have answers. I can actually move the camera. Have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Croc is dangerous for humans, and that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto. And no lip syncing. I feel like some games do this as a, a kind of proper homage to the uh, the original from soft titles. Pocket watch. Croc is a labyrinth of peril right now. Ooh. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Okay. Be careful, clever one. Why do you keep on calling us clever one? Moonface pocket watch. Power of watch turns back time to when boy was in peak condition. Ah, it's a homeward bone. Oh no, wait. Okay, so the last resort just kills us. And I assume returns us. But the moon phase pocket watch. Huh. Well, we'll put that on our bag. Do you have more to say? Look at Gemini. I think he's in shock. Jesus. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. Okay. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Interesting. I'll use my power to help you. We are no longer maidenless. Okay. Right, the question is, what stats governs weight limits? Capacity. Okay, so strength build, we're going to need some uh, capacity to improve our carrying. Let's use the stargazer. This one's not broken. Teleport to another stargazer. You can only travel to those who've activated. Stargazers in areas with an event will be marked with a hint. So there are things going on on hello welcome to hotel crop thank you my name is polandina polandina to lady antonia please let me know how i may be of service at hotel crot comfort and calm walk hand in hand they keep using the word calm as well to hotel crop oh we can buy stuff from him uh Okay. Oh, Legion is what fills up our this is Legion, our bar for the uh, the left arm. Um not that we've done anything with that. German, is that you? Was not expecting. Hello. This is Lady Antonia. Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. She's she's got this petrification thing, hasn't she? You can see the side of her face. This is my hotel. Welcome. Thanks. I'm a totally a real boy. Oh, I knew from the moment we Shit. met. Shit. 
Geppetto's puppet. He did have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard, and he never came back. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. Thing? It comes with a long story. Mm. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. Yoink. And do take care of yourself out there. I will. Someone's memory. Obtain gesture. Show off clothes. Okay, we can't use it from the menu. But we did. <laughs> no, I'm not wearing that. I'm not wearing a tiny blue unless it gives me statistical advantages, which I can't imagine it does. No, it's a costume. The uniform is of a sophisticated and dignified boarding school. This, clo this clothes have been worn before. Yeah, there are some slight issues with the translation, I've noticed. There's a, a, few, of, uh, a few times, two or three times, where I've just gone ever so slightly at the wording. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, how much rumple carpets? Nice marble walls. Uh, let's just get a stargazer. Uh, not a stargazer. A ergo pulse charge back. Hello. Weapon store waifu. I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person. Wow. So this is like our base of operations, I guess. You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. Okay. Yes, good, sir. New arm. Arm modifier. Arm modifier. It's a uh, spike driver. Pile driver. Stake driver. Puppet string. Legion arm is special equipment that is equipped on the left arm. Each Legion arm has its own combat ability. Legion arm can be modified into all sorts of forms. Modifications can be made using the Vinigni craft machine. Sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. Mm-hmm. You must be something else. Uh, yes. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Mm -hmm. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. Eugenie. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. That's what she said. No. Uh. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. So I assume she will be able to properly repair things once they're broken. I organised this place according to the rules. So don't move a thing. Okay. I know my way around a weapon. Upgrade weapon slash alter handle. You can bring Eugenie Cranks to alter weapon handles. Each handle's property upgrades based on your character's basic stats. You can change this property and grade one time with a handle alter alteration. However, you can always reset it with a balanced crank. So we can... Ch so this is like um, infusions in Dark Souls. Um, you can change the scaling of a weapon so i could take my saber and i could change it from c scaling to b scaling on strength but at the cost of the change to skill so could also make things scale with 
advance, which I'm assuming is something to do with our legion bits. Uh, we don't have enough ergo to... Well, actually, no, that's not true, is it? Because if I use... Nice. It tells you. I know my way around a Let's upgrade our greatsword. Because I like greatswords. Greatsword of fate, blade plus one. So it upgrades the blade, not the hilts. What is this? Oh, that's the craft machine. So we can change the legion arm that we are using. For now, we have got... The Puppet String, a legion arm that can release a wire. It can be strung around an enemy to drag them towards you or to move you towards them. So it's a grappling hook. Trace, dodge, attack link. Press and hold the legion arm button to track an enemy. If you pull a wire, trace an enemy and press and hold the... These are greyed out. I don't know if they're greyed out because we need to do something more to get them working or what. I don't know. Okay. So, we've been through there. We played the piano. Hotel Krat is one of the city's creepiest and most mysterious buildings. According to lore, Hotel Krat is an isolated castle built by an aristocrat devoted to a form of occultism after receiving a revelation from a radiant tree. At one point, it was used as a mental institution, and some patients said they saw hallucinations. However, no records remain as they were all destroyed in a large fire. Above all, being so far underground just compounds the rumours. Some even said that it's connected to an underground hell. But now the rumours have served to embellish the charm of Hotel Krat, which has been renovated in the latest style. As the recent rumours of the Grand Exhibition Ghost Hotel spread, more customers are actually looking to stay at the hotel. Next is a comment from the hotel owner, Miss Antonia. A ghost hotel? I've heard that more times than I can remember, but fortunately our hotel guests are brave like lions. It's not a problem at all. Rating 4 out of 5. Creepy and mystical. Best resort in Krat. Reporter, Maduro. The guide was made with the support of the Vinigni Company, a friend of the city. The world building, so far, has been intriguingly done. Yeah, I don't... Seems like there's plenty of promise for an interesting... Right, that's taking us back out. Upstairs. Nothing here so far. Nothing in the cupboard. Interesting. One assumes that is going to play a role later. Another door. So I'm guessing these are going to be shortcuts back. That would be my guess. Right, we've got a way out there. And... A way out here. Ah, this is a training arena. Okay, so this is where we can come to test our weapon upgrades if we need to. Bit of a shame that the hedges don't react, but not a major detail. Okay, hold on. We have no records, but we have a record player. I like collecting records in games, so that'll be nice. Oh, 
Right, this is still inside the hotel. Great fortune to all visitors, rest for all travellers. Blessings to all friends. Now, this would be an odd place for the demo to end. But, they might. I feel like these loading times may be a bit of an issue if you are using, uh, you know, an older hard drive. I can't imagine many people use hard drives these days. Man, no, that's not true, is it? Elysian Boulevard entrance, cloudy morning. Is there a weather system then in the game? Well, I mean, clearly there is weather. But it looks like we've got another area which we can explore. So I think. Hey, let's be more careful. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I hate these guys. But don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. We'll talk later, when we're safe. Okay. So not the broken version that we've been listening to. Maybe we have a clearer signal. This is the bit of the um the game that's been used in demos elsewhere um i've been recording for now and 48 minutes so i'm actually going to leave this here this is a substantial well i mean it's a souls game so the demos are substantial in the sense that if it takes you a long time to defeat the boss then naturally it is going to take some time to complete the demo but it looks like we've had the very opening of the game we've had hotel krat which i'm assuming is going to be our kind of hunter's dream hub style area and then it looks like we've got some streets on the other side which we can go and explore we should do that can't believe i'm going to say this about a demo but we'll do that next time i wonder how much more of the demo there is I'm really intrigued. I expect there to be maybe another boss since they've given us another area. I guess we'll find out. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope I have uh, expressed and articulated my enthusiasm. Uh, I hope the boss fight wasn't too bad to watch. I'm not good at these games, as we know. If you've seen my Sekiro playthrough or my Elden Ring playthrough, you know I'm not good at Souls games, but I do enjoy souls games and that's what video games are about so join me again next time if you will for more lies of p big ass demo have a good day cheerio thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing remember you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live and until next time cheerio